The Battle of the Gorda was a battle of the War of the Sixth Coalition on 18 September 1813 between French and coalition troops at Gorda in Germany. The French troops were defeated and withdrew to Hamburg. Site. It occurred near what is now the site of the Gorda State Forest, near Dannenberg, near Lunenburg. At that time this area belonged to the electorate of braunschweig lunenburg which had been occupied by the French since 1803. The battlefield lies on the border between the modern-day districts of Lunenburg and luchau dannenberg between Oldendorf and Air Gorda and Gorda. Context in spring 1813, Russian troops under Friedrich Karl von Tettenborn forced the French out of Hamburg and some northern areas of Hanover. In the wake of Prussia's re-entry into the war against France, the eastern areas of Hanover also rose against Napoleon. Walmoden then received overall command of all the Allied troops on the Lower Elbe. Troops from Prussia, Russia, the United Kingdom, Hanover, Hamburg, Mecklenburg and Sweden including the Russian-German Legion, the Lutzow Free Corps, the Hanseatic Legion and a part of the King's German Legion, under the overall command of General Lieutenant Ludwig von Walmoden Jimborn. Part of the British contingent was the newly formed Rocket Brigade under Captain Richard Bogue. On 7 September Bogue marched with half his brigade to join the main army of the North, near Wittenberg. The other half of the brigade, under Lieutenant Thomas Fox Strangways, joined the 4th Cavalry Division of General von Dornberg under General Walmoden. The Free Corps such as that from Lutzau again and again attacked French supply lines and bases in the area around Mecklenburg, south of the Elbe. The 13th Corps there, under Marshal Davout, had up to this point behaved quite passively, restricting itself to holding Walmoden's corps in check. As an anti-skirmishes measure, in September Davout sent General Peshu on the Western Elbe affair with a brigade of 50th Infantry Division and moved on Lunenburg with 3,000 troops. After completing his mission, Peshu was ordered to rejoin the French troops in Magdeburg. Walmoden's corps advanced on Domitz on 15 September with 12,300 men, crossed the Elbe, marched toward the Frenchmen and set up camp in Dannenberg course. The French division under Peco decided to attack the Allies. On the early afternoon of 18 September 1813, it reached the Steinkerhoe Inn in Narendorf and gave battle. Whilst Walmoden's infantry attacked the centre, Dornberg with the KGL cavalry and artillery attacked the enemy's left. However, Dornberg brought the guns and rockets into action at too great a range, their fire was ineffective and General Leon's infantry attack was held up. The French began to retire, formed in squares, and Strangways advanced to bring the rockets into action, close under the fire of the enemy's infantry. The 3rd KGL Hussars broke two squares and the rockets spread such terror through the retiring ranks that order could no longer be preserved and breaking, the French fled in all directions. Results The battle was the first victory over the French troops garrisoning Germany, and interrupted the link between 13th Corps under General Davout and Napoleon's main army and the French army's supply lines across Hanover from France to Magdeburg and Berlin. This result was critical for the outcome of the Battle of Leipzig soon afterwards. This was the first battle in which the newly developed Congreve rocket had been successfully deployed in action. At the Battle of Leipzig, the rocket brigade, under Bogen Strangways, would make a significant attack whilst attached to the Swedish corps of Crown Prince Bernadotte. Commemorations A large stone monument stands as a memorial to the battle in 1839. At a site now north of Bundesstrasse 216 about 2 km behind Oldendorf in Richtung Dannenberg, 1,000 dead soldiers from both sides were buried in a mass grave in the forest, 100 meters from where the memorial is sited. This grave was rediscovered in 1985. Rudolf von Benigsen's father Karl von Benigsen fought in this battle, as did the famous freedom fighter Eleanor Prokaska. She had disguised herself as a man and joined the Lutzow Free Corps. 
During the battle she was wounded and soon afterwards succumbed to her injuries in the hospital at Dannenberg. A reconstruction of the battle occurs every two years at Dahlenberg. At the Heimat Museum in the town a diorama of the battle is on permanent display, with 1,500 tin soldiers.